Uh, you have been described uh, by Douglas Campbell as a real actor. So what at the core for you is the essence of being an actor? Oh boy, that's a big question. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a real actor, but I love to act. And of course, uh, I will say nothing new in saying that uh, acting is communicating with an audience, telling an audience a story or part of a story. And uh, we have to establish a good contact with the audience because if there is no contact, there is no, nothing uh, worthwhile and there is no real acting. So uh, that's it, you know. It, it, it's, often be, it's often said that uh, acting is an act of love. And I, I think it's partly true because it's a kind of uh, act of love with, with the public, although there is nothing sexual about it. But the communication has to be on, on a very high level, even, even if the first communication is understanding words, because if, if the public doesn't understand the lines you are delivering, it's not worth it. But otherwise, the communication has to take place at the level of the spirit. And that's the challenge, of course. So the level of words, then there's a level of the intellect, which is the meaning of the words, yeah. and then there's the level above that, which is the spirit? Yes, yes, that's right. Because words, meaning of words, and the general meaning of the play and of the character. So you go. Uh... So the hard question then is, how does one elicit the spiritual dimension to the act of love with an audience? Uh, well, you know, it's it, it's nothing that you are conscious of. It it goes automatically. If you are, uh, if you understand your your character, if you understand the meaning of the play, that communication will establishes itself automatically. But th there is nothing you you can think about, and uh, there is nothing you can do by saying I will do such a thing or such other thing. It's um, it's. Unexplainable, in fact. So, in performance, how often does that come for you? How often does that arrive? Any a kind of a, a spiritual or an emotional spiritual connection that happens? So we know it happens in in times of magic in the theater. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. how much does it happen? Mm, not very often. <laughs> not very often, really, really. Yeah. When when you realize suddenly. Here I am, here is the public, and we are communicating, and they understand what I mean, and now I don't know exactly the words I'm saying because I'm possessed myself by my character. That's magic. You, you, you use the word magic, and I think this is magic, but it very seldom happens. <laughs> yeah. This is a, a moment of grace. And do you know what circumstances in the theater make that happen more as opposed to less? No, no. I, I'll, I'll tell you uh, an anecdote of uh, Laurence Olivier, uh, who uh, after a performance, I don't know what did you was. Did you work with Laurence Olivier? No, no, oh. no. no. Uh, after a before, I don't, I don't know what was the play, the exact play of Shakespeare. That could be any play. He was so extraordinary that all the cast applauded. And when when the the curtain calls finished, uh, Olivier went to his dressing room and slammed the door. And maybe it was Richardson. I don't know who, who went to him. The, Larry, come in! What's the matter, Larry? 
you were absolutely marvelous. And Olivia says, I know I was, damn it, but I don't know how I did it. And that's the problem. There's no recipe. So we have a profession where you and I and Laurence Olivier don't know how you make it really happen. That's right. That's right. Because I, I don't think that uh, in a school, we'll, we will probably uh, uh, talk of schools later, but in a school, you can be taught the, um, the way of using your body, you can be taught the way of using your voice, etc., etc., but you can't be taught good acting, in fact. This is in you, or it's not. To pretend to be another person, you can't teach that, or the magic of transformation to another person? The magic of, of transformation and the magic of putting it clearly to a public. Yeah, that, that, yeah. You, it can't be taught. It, it, you, you, you learn to do it by playing, and by play and learning to do it, you, you do uh, uh, best acting, but it's impossible to put it into pieces and to say, put that piece in that, uh, in that way, etc., etc., and you will have the solution. No, 